Hello, this is Nettie. Welcome to my channel. I have a project share for you today for Saturday Morning Makes. It's an open art collaboration hosted by Jillian Norwood, Greenwood Girl Cards. And you just upload your crafty video with the hashtag Satmore Makes and you can share it with the Saturday Morning Makes community. What I have for you today is an altered composition book and it's a Halloween theme. And I just wanna show you first real quickly some of the products that I used. This paper set, it's called Happy Halloween. It's from American Crafts and it's a wonderful paper set. Nice colors and everything in this one. And some of the dies that I used, this is the Haunted House mini album from KS Craft. So I used the house on the cover of the composition book. And then this die here, which is the dancing uh, skeletons. I think I got this, it was either from Timu or AliExpress and I put that on the back cover. And then I used this spider web on the inside back cover and I used this corner web on the front cover. This one is I got off of Amazon. It's Essentials by Ellen and it's her spider webs die and it's a very nice set. It cuts very nicely and the packaging is awesome. It has uh, it comes in a, a vinyl envelope and the uh, backing is a magnet. So that's nice. And then I also used this banner die. I think I got this from KS Craft. Yeah, I did. I used these little ghosts here. Okay, and let me show you. Let me show you the uh, outcome. So here we go. Here's the book or the composition book with the altered cover. Here's the paper from that collection. I ripped uh, it three pieces and then I distressed it a little bit. Put that on the cover. Here is the haunted house. I think this is adorable. It took a little while for me to figure out how I wanted to decorate it. I used purple foam for the peaks on the roof. This little trim here. This came with the set, the string of lights. Oh, this spider web here I use from another banner set that I have, and I just cut the spider web out. And holographic paper for the uh, inside of the house, and the windows, and the door. I put some little flat back jemmies on the peak here, and that, those are that's a nouveau drop on either side and a flat back here for the doorknob. The fencing came with the die set. I put a little puffy sticker kitty here, if you can see that. Here are the corner webs, the um, Ellen Hudson dies. And let's see, the words here, whoops. I did stitching through the middle. For the moon, I uh, just cut out a circle in glitter paper, and then I took the paper punch and put it about two thirds of the way in and cut it again to give the crescent moon shape. And this dangle here, this is a spider web um, napkin ring holder that I got at Michael's and I just cut the back off. And then on the bottom, I just put three uh, little charm dangles to dress that up. And here is ruffle trim that I used. And let's see, what else? I guess that's it for the front cover. So let's open it up. And the inside is basic, inside cover is basic. And on a few of the pages, I just put uh, some Halloween stickers. No uh, 
no frequency on the stickers. It was just here or there on the paper. There's another one here that I, there's a little ghosty. And then I think there's a little bat here, right there. You can see that. So I, I did that just on a few of the pages. And then also I put in my journal marker or bookmark that I made. This is, uh, you just use, you pick out your ribbon, you put your ribbon crimps on, and then you make little, little dangles for the end. And then on the bottom, these are uh, sequins here. I made that into a little charm. And I just put that in there. I figure I'll, I'll keep that in there. And the back cover is basic as well. Oh, and there are pockets on the front and back that where you could fit in like one piece of paper. It's kind of tight, but it goes in. And here is <clears throat> the die from the Spiderweb mini album. And then I just took a piece of uh, thread, sparkly thread, and then put a spider on the end. Washi tape here. And then I just did this trim on the back page, the back cover. In the back, I put the dancing skeletons. I thought they're cute. So that is my altered composition book. And also, I made this paper clip. It's a distressed paper clip that I got, and then I just put some pom poms on it. And then this bat uh, is a, these are the bat rings at Dollar Tree, and you just cut off the the back, and then I glued that on. So I thought that went went well with this too. So that'll be going with this book. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and maybe got some ideas. Whoops, I dropped the clip. I'll pick it up later. And um, that is it for now. I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch. Have a great day. Till next time.